Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Scorpios. So this is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energies, Scorpios. Let's see what's coming up for your general energies, guys, before we move on to your love energies. Okay, Scorpio, so let's see what's coming up for your general energies, guys. What's coming up for your general energies? So I'll be using the power of love cards to kind of get your love and I mean for your general energies and for your love energies I'll be using the angel inspiration deck okay I'm just going to take like three or four cards we have the commitment we have the virtue in reverse and we have the unity so these cards usually cannot be read in reverse but right now I will read them in reverse okay because i just felt like i should read them in reverse so however the cards come i'll be reading them with a commitment you're in a committed relationship or you want commitment you want a relationship where you can cherish a lot of things with these people you don't want a person who will just leave you for whatever it is and all of that you just want a person forever Okay, so you want a person forever and you want this person to kind of like stay for a lifetime. You don't want to leave this person no matter what. Okay, so that is what I'm getting for you here, guys. You will feel really happy with whatever life gives you, but at the same time, you will not... If someone is going to give you, like, if someone is not going to give you this commitment, you will not like to stay in this relationship with them. Okay, that's also what I get here. So you want commit from, commitment from people and you definitely, like, will not agree whatever it is. Okay, so that is what I'm getting for you here. So again, with the virtue, unity, and with the commitment, you might feel like you're giving up on yourselves. You kind of love this person more than you love yourself, okay? You feel like uh, someone in your life is taking more advantage of things, or you feel like this person being in your life is just the greatest part of your life, okay? Today, you will be very emotional in a very emotional atmosphere. You want to kind of fight for your well-being or for yourself. Like, you're not, if someone is um, not well, you don't care. Like, you kind of fight for yourself. You kind of, like, accomplish whatever you need to accomplish, and you're in a very... Um, that kind of a state so you do whatever you want to do you if whether you want to accomplish something you go and do it so if you want to do something else you concentrate on your life and try to accomplish whatever you want to and whatever you can and you will be like working whatever it is in the life you'll be working towards what you want in life okay so that is what I see here, guys. You guys are working hard. You will do whatever it takes to get things right. So that is again what I'm getting for you here. So the unity you want to remain as a very close person to the people you love and you want to be in a group so you don't want to be the person left alone you want to be in a group and you always want to be in a group okay 
so that is all i see for you here guys so the virtue again you will be like uh, you don't want self-respect i see here <laughs> like i don't know why i'm getting this but you guys don't want to be like so proud of yourselves you don't want to be this person who's too proud and all of that okay so that is what i see for you here guys so let's see what's coming up for your love energies okay so let's see what's coming up for your love energies guys We have check your emotions, be accommodating, and Archangel Raphael. We have the speak from the heart, the be content, and we have step into the light. Okay, so that is what I generally see for you here, guys. So this is what I see for here. For your person's energies, your person is in the state where they need to check their emotions. They're not able to get things right in their life. Maybe they are really emotional like you are. Like maybe you both are mirroring each other's energy, but from a different angle. So you both may seem altogether like the same people, but I see here that your person is different from how you are so with a be accommodating with a be archangel raphael so what i get here is that your person is trying to heal trying to come out of a particular situation they're trying to get things right they're trying to get things done with a check your emotions your person is being really emotional so they are coming out of emotions like they are uh so emotional today i see here that your person is even crying for some of you your person is crying guys thinking about how things even happened and they are kind of like sick and sad and they are so emotional and they're kind of like crying staying sad and sick and they really want things to happen into a physical reality, but they don't really know how to make it happen. So I hope you got the energy. So this person is very emotional. So if you're in contact with this person, you can try this. You tell them that you want to stop this. You want to have a breakup in this relationship. This person will be like, OK, fine. They won't like be open to you that they want to continue this but then they might just disappear on social media they might disappear just everywhere because they cannot handle such hurt energy okay so when they kind of do that it's really hurting for them and they cannot tolerate it and therefore they feel really sick so that is what i generally see here for you guys okay a 
for your energies you're content you're happy with what you have maybe you are feeling fine with this commitment you're happy you're adjusting i also see here you're adjusting with this person this person feels like they can do anything with you you are just the person who makes them feel amazing and makes this person feel more comfortable they feel like they can have this union with you because you are just so focused and this focus that you have like makes this person really happy okay and they really like everything about you they don't know what to do if you're not there in their life okay so that is what i get here the general energies guys i hope you got the overall energies this is all i have guys totally this person is very emotional today and they may be even crying today okay so bye guys i'll see you all tomorrow your lucky color for today is black and your lucky crystal for today is how light so for those of you uh, who want a general reading as well as a love reading this is definitely a right place that you've come so let us just start off the reading my lovelies i will lay out three piles here and each pile for each group of yours so let us just start off with the pile number one two and three i hope these cards are visible to you guys so you can choose one of these piles make sure to meditate for about three to four minutes before you choose any of these piles or um, just open your eyes close your eyes for 10 minutes and open your eyes and the pile that you feel the most drawn to is the pile you choose okay so i hope the cards are more visible now so i will be starting with a pile number one here so this is pile number one two and three so you can choose any pile you want and then go to the timestamps that i give in the description box below uh there you will find the timestamps or you will find the timestamps in the comments uh some of you please paste the timestamps in the comments and you can go click that and watch the reading and thank you all so much once more for joining me here let us just start off with a pile number one now and just keep out all the other cards aside okay so we have the pile number one now here we have the ten of pentacles so the pile number one is all about stability the ten of pentacles definitely represents stability it represents partnerships it represents holding on to someone too tight holding on to some things that you feel is worthy enough so you guys have something that is worthy enough in your mind that you want to hold on to tight or this person feels that you are worth it you are worth sacrificing a lot okay so this person definitely feels that ten of pentacles with you they feel like you are like a complete package you're beautiful you're intelligent you have all the characteristics a person should have and this person definitely feels a bonded connection when it comes to you guys okay so that is the main reason why we have the ten of pentacles here this person feels a bonded relationship with you and it's not just a bonded connection it is also like this person thinks about you most of the time they go, they want to always spend time with you they want to always be around you and they even feel like the ten of pentacles can even mean like a financially stable situation so they feel like you are someone who is financially stable they feel you are someone who um knows uh what to keep things you know what to do uh, in a particular situation so this person definitely adores that character about you guys they definitely like how you are the way you are everything that you do generally especially with this card that is the overall energy that i can see here ten of pentacles 
we'll just take out some more cards guys this person with a ten of cups oh my god this person definitely feels that you are enough for them ace of cups yes a lot of emotion uh, this is like a more of like an emotional connection filled with a lot of trust a lot of love uh, this is uh, these cards usually comes for uh, people who are grounded in their relationship mostly that connection is very grounded it can be a twin flame or mostly a soulmate connection it's not a twin flame but anyways guys this card comes usually for higher connections it doesn't come uh, for low vibrational connections so again that is the other thing that i need to specifically say because that is what i can see for you here um definitely with these three cards okay so i hope you got everything that you need to understand for the pile number one now i'll be moving on to the pile number two okay so pile number two we have the seven of wands wow so seven of wands this card is all about partnership it is all about protection and it's all about fighting for what you love so if there has been a situation where this person was protecting you or you thought they never protected you or you had a bad uh, situation with this person you never felt like they protected you or whatever it is I can definitely see with these cards that this person does protect you. This person does love you. They do love you. They do care a lot for you. And they're willing to manifest whatever it is with you guys. Okay. That is what I can see here with a seven of wands. They're willing to do whatever it is when it comes to you. Because they care too much for you. And again with a seven of wands energy. Mostly I can see that this person's thinking about you most uh, always. They're thinking about how they can manifest a relationship with you, how they can grow a connection with you. They do have a lot of thoughts coming up in their mind and most of the thoughts uh, does involve you guys. Okay, it does involve you, does involve what they want with you, it does involve how they want to manifest things with you and all of those amazing magical energies. And also this person will definitely support you in all kind of situations. For example, if you're if someone is opposing this relationship or if someone is against you both, I definitely say that this person will help you. This person will support you. They will they wouldn't take other people's side. They will definitely take your side and they will support you and you don't have to worry about that energy much. Okay. <coughs> I'll just take a few more cards guys we have page of swords and we also have the seven of swords so with these two page and seven both swords i can definitely see that uh, this relationship will uh, go a long way but there needs to be a lot of compromises uh, made in this connection for it to go forward there need to be a lot of understanding between you both because if you are going to continue with this misunderstanding or with this misunderstanding situation then this might not be possible and i'm really sorry to say this it won't be possible okay so please make sure to understand this person completely please make sure to do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and yes that is it that is all i can see here with these cards guys okay with the page of swords and with the seven of swords definitely i can see here that uh the focus is on you and this connection okay the focus is on you and this connection with this person okay so that is all i can see here my lovelies i hope this reading really resonated with you guys and bye guys see you all tomorrow bye
Now I will be moving on to the pile number three. <clears throat> so we have the five of wands for the pile number three. This card is all about looking after one another or taking care of your clan, taking care of the people that you love. So this card usually comes when you are taking care of the people that you love or you're taking care of the things that you feel connected to. So it's just a caring energy here. So this person definitely cares for you. They're looking after you. It can also be like a hiding and looking after energy. If uh, you've been far away from this person or definitely if you've been like in a situation far away from this person or maybe like you are in a separation state, long distance relationship, I can definitely see that they are spying, they're seeing you from a far distance, especially with the, the tower card coming next. All I can think about is how this person wants a connection with you and what are they doing to come towards you to have this uh, final relationship with you because this person does care too much for you to give up on this connection with you guys, okay? If you're wanting this person to give up on this connection with you, if, if you are wanting to, this person to give up on this relationship with you, it is going to be tough for this person to give up on this relationship okay because they're coming towards you for a reason uh they want to be with you for a reason they're making it happen for you for a reason and yes guys that is also what i can see for you here my lovely so again this person whatever happened between you both it is definitely going to be in the past because right now all I can see you is that this person cares too much for you. They think about you most of the time and they're even willing to do whatever it is um, that involves you guys. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining me here. Bye guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye.